Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy fall. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'm so glad you clicked on this video to spend a little bit of time with me today. I'm going to be showing you how I get ready from start to finish and I'm gonna show you how I pick out a full fall outfit. So if you guys wanna see what I choose and how I get ready, then just keep watching. Okay, I start out getting ready by setting everything out on the counter that I'm going to be using and then I turn on the hot water and while I let it warm up, I put a YouTube video on. Um, today I'm watching Till Vacuum Do Us Part. I love Ashley's channel and I'm just going to go ahead and put my contacts in and brush my teeth. And I love this toothpaste. It's a new one. It's by Sensodyne. It's the extra whitening version and it's helped my teeth not be so sensitive but help keep them white and then I just put a headband in and get some hot water on a washcloth and just run it over my face now I'm using the Tatcha the deep cleanser to cleanse my face and I just work this in and then I will add a little bit of water to my hands to help it suds up some more and just really work it into my skin and then I rinse that off with a warm washcloth as well and then I go in with a scrub this is time wise from Mary Kay I've had this for years I just use a little bit to just get all of those dead skin cells off of my face and to exfoliate really well so I wipe that off and then I dry my face off a little bit with a clean towel and then I go ahead and tone my face this is a toner that I've had for a really long time. It's just by Rodan and Fields, and it's their pore minimizing toner. And I just put that on a little cotton round and rub it into my face. And I love it, it works really well. Um, after that, I use a water drop from Dr. Jart, and I just rub that into my face as a moisturizer. I use a couple different moisturizers right now just because my skin is really dry. And then I put my SPF in, so, or on. And it does make my face a little bit white at first, but once it like soaks into the skin, you don't see that anymore. And then I'm going to hop into the shower. I just turn the water on and let it get nice and warm, and I just jump in and rinse off. Once I get out, I use this Soap and Glory Body Milk um, Lotion and this Dove Dry Spray Invisible Deodorant. And then I have my outfit laid out for the day. It is cool and I'm so excited to get ready for fall. So this is my beauty room slash closet and this is what I'm going to be using to get ready today. Um, I love coming in here in the mornings and just getting ready. It's kind of my little oasis. And I love this little pop-up mirror and jewelry holder. This is the travel case that I keep all of my makeup in all the time. I just keep it in a drawer and pull it out every single day. That way it's nice and organized. And it has a back part that you can put your brushes in if you travel. So I'm just going to grab my mirror and that way it's just a little bit closer and I can see what I'm doing. All right, so now the fun part is the makeup. I just got out of the shower. First thing that I'm doing, I'm going to use another moisturizer because my skin is very dry right now. And it is by Tarte. It is the um, Double Duty Beauty First Step Prep. Then I'm going to go in with a primer. This is a primer by Winky Lux. I have never heard of this brand, but I bought a ton of makeup off of a girl, so... And she had this in there, so I've just been using it, but it's kind of a, like, pink consistency. I don't know if you guys can see. Like a real whipped consistency, and I basically just put it in my pores, just kind of press it in there. Um, anywhere that I have scarring from acne, um, and pores around my nose especially, even a little bit on my forehead, so... I just make sure that's all nice and pressed in the skin and then I go into foundation and I'm gonna show you literally what is in my bag so this is what I just keep all of my makeup in that way it's real handy to just grab out of the drawer throw it up here um, I'm gonna show you drugstore things and high-end things just kind of what I rotate with every day these are the two foundations that I switch back and forth with um, one is a Fiona Styles. Um, this was a brand of Ulta for a while. I don't think you can buy it anymore, but if you can, I'm in the shade number eight. 
um or maybe this was at target i don't remember but anyways that's this one it is full coverage both of these are and the other one that i love that's um from the drugstore is the maybelline 24 hour super stay full coverage foundation this is so good for the price it covers everything it does stay on all day it's so good but i am in the shade 312 in this but normally i think i'm shade 220 so i rotate between those two but today i'm going to use the fiona styles one and i will say i don't know if you guys can tell but like my skin is really dark but my face is not just because i don't self tan my face very often so that's why I have to try to match my face to the rest of my body, which can be a little tricky sometimes. So um, if you guys have a good like face um, tanner that doesn't break you out, let me know. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have broke out a little bit like on my chin and my um, like under my neck almost. And it's all hormonal. It's just... Um, just part of it for me. I don't know. Every now and then I get super hormonal acne and it's really, it's hard to control, but, um, I try to keep it at bay with decent skincare, but sometimes there's just nothing you can do if it's all like internal. So if that makes sense, but anyways, I'm going to put this on a wet or damp sponge. I got this wet earlier and just kind of like, um, dabbed off or squeezed out the excess water this is a pack from amazon that's i think it was like eight dollars it's so good that comes with a ton of them in there but they're really good i usually use the um real technique sponge or the beauty blender and this one is better i love it so i'll have this link down below if you guys want to check it out and i'll see if i can link the makeup too just so it's easier if you guys want to um try it out so like I said, since this doesn't match the rest of my body, I have to kind of blend it all over. So I bring it over my ears um, and I'll bring it down my neck as well. So this isn't like super full coverage, but you have to kind of build it up. So I do a couple of layers until I feel like it's nice and covered. Okay, once foundation is on, I'm going to go in with concealer, and this one is the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium. I ordered this off of QVC recently, and they had a deal going on where you could get two full-size concealers plus their sponge for like $29. So that's a super good deal considering I think one of these is like $27 normally at Ulta. So, um... Check out QVC if you need um, some concealer and want to try out the Tarte. Um, as you can see, this is a little bit lighter than my makeup, but trust me, once it all gets blended out, um, it works. So um, have no fear, but I just apply a decent amount because that foundation wasn't as full coverage as I thought it was going to be. Um, it really depends like how dark my face is. If my face has already got like a base color built up on it, it does okay, but otherwise I have to apply quite a bit. So um, I'm just going to blend all of this out with the pointy side of the blender and um, just get everything nice and covered and blended. And then I'll show you what I do to blend like the dark with the light. Okay, so I'll just take the side that I had the foundation on and I just kind of blend um, all of those in between areas like up around my hairline um and the bottom part of my chin just so all of those colors get nice and blended so there um i just try to make it nice and even but i will say i am no pro when it comes to makeup but i do enjoy um doing it so Next, I'm going to set my concealer with this Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. This is actually the light version. You can get this at Ulta. Um, that's where I've always gotten it. And then I'm going to use an e.l.f. blush brush to set my under eyes. So I'm just going to get a good amount on there. And I'm going to apply it very generously. And I'm going to let it sit for a minute. I find that this powder for some reason gives me a little bit extra coverage too so that's always nice but it really does a good job of setting um, all of those areas that I had the concealer. 
Okay, I'm going to let that sit a minute, and I'm going to tell you guys what bronzers I use. So, I like the um, It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation in the Illumination version, and I've got the shade Rich, so it's just a little bit darker than my face. I like to go in with this with an angled Morphe brush. It doesn't even have the number on it anymore, but it just looks like this, and I like to just kind of get a little bit of product on there and then I will go ahead and just create a little bit of a contour and then I'll bring it up along my hairline just to kind of blend it um, in with the rest of my face and I also bring it on my ears a little bit underneath my bottom lip a little bit under my chin and then I'll brush the sides of my nose okay once I do that um, it's usually time to wipe off the excess setting powder, so I just get that same blush brush that I applied it with and just kind of dust off all of that. Now, once that's all blended, I also like to take the um, butter bronzer from Phys Physicians Formula, and this is in the dark version, um, the sun-kissed one. So, it smells so good. I'm just going to take this to warm up my face a little bit more. And I like to bring this one a little bit down the jawline just to make everything blend a little bit better. Like I said, my body is a lot darker than my face, so I kind of have to um, bronze it up. All right, that is it for bronzer. Now the two brushes, blushes that I like to switch between is the Milani Color Harmony and the Coral Beams and this one from Studio Makeup. I don't even know what this is. In the shade Wildflower. So I will take um, the Wildflower one first and it's just kind of like a mauve pink with a big fluffy blush brush. And I will just apply that above the contour. And then I'll take that same brush and kind of just mix it with these. Um, and apply that. And I love like the highlighter and the bronzer all mixed in one. I think it gives like a really nice um, like mixture of colors. So once I'm done with that, then I highlight. Um, and I just have a CoverGirl True Blend It's Lit palette. And I'm going to use this middle shade. Let's see. I'm just going to take a Morphe brush. This is a Y14 brush. And I'm just going to apply it right above the cheekbone. And I'll also always hit the top of my nose and my Cupid's bow. Okay, now if that looks a little too intense... I'll usually take that blush brush and kind of just blend it out. Okay, that is all for the face. So I usually put everything back into the face side. So I put all those products back and then I open up the other side which has all of the eye stuff. But to prime my eyes, I'm gonna use a Sonia Kashuk primer and it's an extreme wear eye primer. And I'm just going to take a flat Morphe brush. This is the B83 brush. And I'm just going to dip it in there, get a little bit of primer, and then just apply this all over the lid. This just helps your makeup have more pigment and last longer. Um, I switch back and forth. I feel like even without primer, there's like enough concealer on my eyes that, um, it's not a big deal if I don't put primer on, but if I really want it to last all day, I will apply a little bit of primer. These are the two palettes that I go back and forth with. Um, this Morphe 9A palette is beautiful. I always say this is so pretty for brides that just want like a neutral eye. So that's one that I use all year round. And then I have this Violet Voss one from, I don't even know, just called my holy grail i don't i don't know but anyways it's really good i bought it off of a girl that's why i don't really know but the last two days brooks has gotten into this palette and has tried his best to destroy it so the colors look kind of crazy right now but these are the colors very neutral fall colors you got a little bit of like 
purpley colors in there. You've got really pretty browns, even a hint of like the gold, like pumpkin-y colors. So a really good mixture. I know it looks crazy, but um, I think I'm going to use this palette today. So I'll tell you guys what colors I'm using, but I'm going to grab my favorite It Cosmetics brush. It's just like a little fluffy brush like this, and I'm going to put it into the transition shade. It's literally called transition. And this has a huge mirror, so I love that. Um, and I'm just going to apply that directly into the crease. Okay, once I have like the main crease done, then I'm gonna go into Are You Kitten Me? which is like a real neutral brown color. And I'm going to focus this on the outer part of my eye. And that's like a pretty neutral look. Um, I might go in with Teddy Bear, which is kind of a more like purpley dark color with the same brush. And I'm just gonna focus it on the outer corner. Okay, now I'm gonna take a different brush and I'm just going to kind of blend it out a little bit more. This is a Morphe M433 brush. Once that's done, I'm going to apply a lid color and I'm just gonna take a flat like elf brush. It's just like an angled eyeshadow brush. And I'm using the shade Ploof, P-L-O-O-F. I think that's how you say it. I'm going to apply it directly to the lid. Now I'm gonna take that same It Cosmetic brush and just kind of blend it all together. Okay, and then I don't know about you guys, but just having my eyes like this, I feel like I've got so much on the top and nothing on the bottom. So I am going to um, apply a little bit on the bottom just to blend it all together. And I'm gonna take this darker Are You Kidding Me color. And I'm gonna apply that directly under the eye. All right, so there's the eyes so far. Now I'm going to apply some eyeliner. Um, if I have eyelash extensions, I don't usually use liner, but if I don't have extensions on, I like to use liner, and I'm gonna use a new one today. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Flash Cat Eye. I'm getting this because I usually use, let me find it, my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner in intense black but I'm almost out and I didn't have time to like run to Ulta so I just got this one and I'm gonna see how it compares so oh but before I do that almost forgot I'm going to curl my eyelashes I like to do this before um, I put my eyeliner on that way it doesn't smudge it or anything okay now I'm gonna put this eyeliner on and I like to sometimes do a white liner on my lower lash line this is Maybelline lasting drama in white luster and what I like about it is it has the turn top so I'm just going to apply this to my lower lash line okay now I'm going to use a um, Ulta Beauty ultimate lashes hey, mascara hey, mommy. yeah my juice. your juice I'm gonna let that dry I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then I'm going to put another coat on so for my brows I am going to be using this little NYX eyebrow cake powder okay now I'm just going to basically line what I already have just make it a little bit sharper all right so after the brows are done I just add a um, lighter powder directly under the brows just to kind of give it like a lift and then I take that same it cosmetic brush that I had before and I just blend it out kind of a lot of steps but you honestly you get used to it and you kind of get a routine down um and it's not so bad so now I'm gonna add another layer of mascara lashes and eyes are done I don't know why but I can't do like a full face of makeup and then no lips I just feel like it doesn't really look right on me so um I have a new favorite that I've been loving so I'm I'll show you what it is in a second, but I always line my lips and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Perfect Pout. It's just kind of like a neutral mauve color. I need something a little bit more brown, but um, I ran out. I don't overline them or anything. I just find that it helps my lipstick stay on better. Um, and now I'm using the Huda or Huda Huda Beauty um, from Sephora, their liquid matte lipstick in the shade Bombshell. 
I love this. It's such like a soft brown. It's so pretty. Okay, and that is it for the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my curling iron out. I've got a new one that I'm so excited to show you guys. So um, I'm gonna let that warm up and I'll show you it in a second. Okay, I keep all of my hot tools in a drawer of their own. That way it's not like always out. So I'm just gonna pull out my curling iron and straightener, my brush, and probably some hairspray. So um, this is all that I use, and I'm just going to turn my um, curling iron on. Okay, so there it's heating up. What's awesome about this wand is you can unclick it and you can switch the barrel. So right now I just have a one inch barrel or you could put on any of these. So there's a skinny one um, and it goes up in sizes. I think that's a half inch or a quarter, quarter inch, three quarters inch, I'm not sure. Um, the one inch, there's even a 1.25 inch. Um, there's one that goes from skinny to big, a waver, and then one that's like super, super tiny. So um, all of these are inside of here and I'm gonna, I'll open it up and show you. Okay, it comes with this really cute carrying case. That way if you're traveling, um, you can use it. You can take it with you and it's not gonna be a big deal. Um, and it comes with all kinds of stuff. It comes with an instruction guide and then it has all of the wands in here. So it's organized super nicely. It comes with a glove that you can use so you don't burn yourself, but it's just so organized and this barrel breaks down so you can just take this top off and this will fit in one of the spots as well so just this bottom part will be in there it's so handy great for travel i can't say enough good things about this wand so let's go ahead and use it and i'll show you how it curls okay i forgot to mention but that is called the octo wand and I love um, Numi as a brand. I feel like they've got so many different products out. They also have their own like hair products if you want to check into that. But I really just wanted to try their um, their curling wands because I've heard that they're so good. And I loved that you could switch out the barrel and it not um, be like a hassle or have to get like a whole separate um device just to have a different curl so i will say that this wand has made such a big difference because it curls my hair so fast and the curls actually hold so that's awesome i'm gonna put a little bit of dry shampoo this is just um my monet dry shampoo i do um sell monet if you guys are ever interested in trying it out that's what i use for shampoo conditioner all of my hair stuff and I've been loving it. I've been using it for a couple months now and I feel like it's really made a big difference with my hair. So okay, this is what I do when I curl my hair. I just separate my hair, let me turn around, in three sections. So I've got this back section and then the two fronts. And that's just what I work with. I don't do like multiple layers. I used to, but I don't anymore. And I will take my wand and I have it set to 370. It's just kind of what goes on. If I'm trying to be really careful, I will set it to 350. But I just take, um, I start with the front. I take a decent sized chunk of hair, wrap it away from the face. And I kind of bring this down to where I want the curl to start, like right here. Um, and I just hold it for like five seconds. And then I will let it go. And you can see, super pretty curl. Um, and I will let the curls just kind of sit there until I'm completely done curling my hair. And then I will run my fingers through it. So I'm going to speed this up. I know this video is probably getting long. So um, I'm just going to speed it up and I'll show you the end result. Different view of 
is the final result. Like I said, I love how this curls. Here's the back. Um, I think it just looks very natural, very pretty. Um, like I said, this is a one inch barrel. And then I'm just going to use some Monet Strong Flex Hold Hairspray. And I'm just going to like kind of pull my hair out like that, just to give it a little bit of volume. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Um, and spray. So, now I've got big hair. <laughs> Spray the back a little bit, and then I like to spray my roots and then kind of press down those baby hairs. That way they're not like hanging out up top. And then there you go. That's how I curl my hair with the Numi Octo Wand and um, the products that I use to Before. get this. All right, I'm gonna put my jewelry on, and today I'm wearing a ring from a brand called Julia, and they have premium artesian jewelry. They have all kinds of really pretty stuff that looks like diamonds, looks very luxurious for a fraction of the cost. My package came with a little booklet of different jewelry and it shows how they make it. It's really neat actually. They have moissanite jewelry that is very similar to diamonds but it's a lot cheaper so um, it's really up to you. This would be a great option to look for an engagement ring or anniversary gifts or if you just want like a really pretty jewelry set for yourself. But I'm going to show you which piece I picked out and I'm so excited to collaborate with them. This is how um, it came packaged and it also came with a little bag. So that's kind of nice. And the box is really nice. It's got a velvet inside and I'm gonna place the ring in there and show it to you. I have been wearing this ring though for probably two weeks and I absolutely love it. Okay, so here's the ring. It's an oval cut, it's beautiful, and I like to wear this ring on my middle finger. Um, I need to go put my wedding set on, but this is what it looks like on my hand. So there's the diamonds. It's so pretty. They cover like all the way down. I think it's just a gorgeous ring. Like I said, I wear it every single day. You guys see me wear it. I think it's so pretty. And um, I would highly recommend Julia. The shipping was super fast. It would also make a great Christmas gift if you wanna get someone a really nice piece of jewelry. It hasn't turned, I don't think it will. It's coated in sterling silver and something else. Um, and it's really like, high quality stuff for a fraction of the cost. So check out Julia. I will have their website and everything for them linked down below. And I'll also have this exact ring linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Okay, so here is the Target sweater that I told you guys about. This one is by A New Day and it's $19.99. Then I'm going to wear this really pretty like rust orange cardigan over it just because it is really chilly today. I love that fall has arrived. Um, and these are the mom jeans. They are just the can-can mom jeans. Um, so comfy. I just have my sweater kind of tucked in the top. And then I'm going to wear these boots. These are from the brand Soda, and I think I can link them down below. But these are from a boutique. I love them. I need them in like every single color, but they are super comfortable and I've worn the heck out of them last year and I know I will again this year. Okay, now that the boots are on, um, sometimes I like to wear a cute little hat just to tie the look together and this one is from Target as well. It is by the brand A New Day and I just kind of set it on and I like to have it kind of just flat on my head and that is it. But I hope you guys liked this fall get ready with me video. I'm so glad that fall is here and we've got cooler weather so we can wear all of our cute fall outfits. I can't wait for the leaves to change colors. I am so excited for that. But if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what was your favorite part about this video. And if you wanna see more get ready with me's, I'm going to be posting a fall morning routine video as well. And I'm gonna do it very like real lifestyle, like what we literally do whenever we wake up all throughout our morning. So if you want to see that, then subscribe and stay tuned for that video coming up this week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.